Here we have another problem about predicting products. And I have, uh, have um, starting material is propyne, and I have this sequence of reactions, so we need to predict what's at the end. So let's do this again, step by step. So step one, you're treating propyne with sodium amide. So let's do that. Remember, terminal alkyne with sodium amide, you're removing the acidic hydrogen here to produce an alkynide anion. Second step in the sequence, here you have, you're treating it with metal iodide. So that step is an alkylation, and that proceeds as an SN2 reaction, as we have seen. So SN2 attack. That's my alkylation step. Then it says, um, let's draw the product and analyze what happens in the other steps. So my product here, let me draw it on that side. Continue my arrow, right? One, two, and three. So I'm gonna, I have added that. So I have two butyne. So now what's next? This condition, sodium and ammonia, is used to hydrogenate partially an alkyne to make an alkene. But this time, this condition is used to make trans alkenes. So let's draw the product that results after you treat it with sodium. So th step three, sodium and ammonia. And the stereochemistry of your product is then trans, right? A trans two butene. Trans two butene. Then the fourth step, and I'm going to draw it over here, I guess, is a halogenation reaction. Step four. The halogenation of and remember that that proceeds through bromonium intermediate and that the product is anti. So we're going to add bromine across the double bond. So let's see what you're forming. When you make that, if you have that, let's make So when you add them, uh, bromine and carbon tetrachloride, let's remember that this you're doing that addition in an anti-fashion. What this is, is that the two bromine atoms need to be added to opposite side. So here we see the two metal groups are anti, so it's a transalkene it, that the bromine atoms are opposite. So I'm going to draw that in the Newman um, conformation. Let's see what I do it. Why can I draw it? So I'm going to just remove that for now to make room. So let's say that I'm doing, I'm viewing this molecule like that to show you something. And let's do the Newman confirmation of that. So remember that when you do Newman um, projections, you're seeing this is where your eye is. So metal is up. That metal over here, that's the carbon that you're viewing. You will have, if you're to that side, to this, you will have a bromine. Let's draw here, metal, hydrogen. For the carbon in the back, so this is, say, one, two, three, four, carbon one, two, three in the back. Number four is down here. And then you will have the bromine to that side and the edge to the side. So if you notice, this is a meso compound. You can rotate this over here. And the fact that they are 180 show you already that's a meso compound, but you can draw the rotomer of that in which you will see clearly that it has um, um, a plane. So let's do, if I keep the one in the front the same, and I rotate the one in the back to overlap these two C3, then you will have this. And here you see that we have a plane of symmetry. Either way, you see this is a cross, this is a cross, so meso compound, then you have one product. 